Hello and uh, welcome to another video. Uh, this time we are going to be looking at a couple of uh, new things which have been uh, introduced in the most uh, recent patch, uh, 4.18 uh, for uh, Fantasy Grounds uh, Unity. Um, and these uh, introductions uh, are to do with uh, occluders and line of sight. Uh, and so let's get right into it. We've got a map here. And if we uh, unlock this map and open up and have a look at the occluders, we will see that um, there are thousands of them. Um, now, uh, this map was drawn in the um, uh, sort of early days uh, when line of sight had just been uh, out. And so we were uh, drawing them with lots and lots of occluders for particularly this kind of map where it's kind of uh, rough walls, it's not straight lines. Um, and uh, since we didn't know any better, we were drawing in uh, lots and lots of uh, points. Um, now, since uh, lighting has been introduced, of course, this uh, can cause uh, some performance uh, issues. Uh, and so the trick nowadays uh, is to draw far less points. Uh, so how can we sort this? Well, um, we've got a new tool uh, which has been introduced in the most recent patch. Um, if we uh, select our uh, edit mode here and then we just double click on uh, any point to select uh, all the points on this line, a new tool uh, simplify selected occluders uh, pops up. And if we click on this and watch what happens, uh, we will see that several of the points have uh, now disappeared. And if we click again, uh, we'll see that some more points have uh, disappeared. And it, the wall is uh, retaining the shape, um, but it's just it has not uh, got so many points on it, which is going to make that uh, much uh, better and it's going to reduce any performance issues. And if we just uh, select another line down here and do the same thing, uh, we will see that several of these points uh, are disappearing. And we now have uh, a much cleaner line. I mean, if we compare this line here, this portion of the line that we've dealt with, with this bit up at the top or this bit down here, we'll see that there are far fewer points. Uh, and therefore, this is going to uh, increase any performance uh, which might be occurring because of uh, lighting. Uh, now, obviously, it's possible to go too far and remove too many points, um, but uh, it certainly uh, helps to reduce the number of points that uh, are on the uh, uh, occluders. Um, of course, if you're drawing your own maps from scratch and you're adding your own occluders, then the trick would be not to put in so many points uh, so that you don't need to use that tool, but uh, the tool is there uh, should it be required if you're doing your own uh, occluders. Um, now the second thing which has been added in, uh, and if we just uh, select uh, our line tool here and a wall, and we'll just uh, quickly draw a wall line here and finish it off. Um, now supposing that we've drawn that and oh hell, uh, that should have been something else. Well, uh, now uh, what we can do is make sure that we're in edit mode. Uh, just select the, uh, a, the points that we are I wanted to change. If we hold down the uh, CTRL key and then we click on one of the other occluder types, it will change that occluder to that type. Uh, so if we wanted a door, we can click on door. If we wanted a toggleable wall, if we wanted a window, then we can just click on whichever uh, button we want and it will change the uh, line uh, or the selected points uh, into that occluder type. Um, so that's quite a neat uh, little uh, addition. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, some of you will probably have realized that the CTRL-Z, um, which was sort of the uh, undo uh, button, hasn't been working for a while. Uh, that's been fixed uh, in a, a couple of patches ago. So if we wanted to undo what we have just done, then CTRL-Z is now going to uh, work to uh, undo all of that and bring us back to uh, where we were. Uh, so I think that's it. Quite a short one this time, um, but that covers all the uh, new stuff that has been introduced in patch 4.18. So thanks for watching. Cheers for now.